Welcome back. Well, we lost an hour of sleep, didn't we? It's daylight saving time, and Utah passed a law last year to try to stop it to make daylight time permanent. But of course it isn't, and that's because of a complicated federal requirement to have Congress approve Utah's law and then a state requirement that four other western states have to agree. You know, complicated laws, over time, they're nothing new. Craig Worth joining us now to tell us more. Hi, Craig. Howdy. Well, Utah has been the center of strange laws about time and time zones for over a hundred years. Let's wind back the clock in this worth watching report. Gee, how swell, it's now daylight savings time. We now get an extra hour of daylight in the evening to not be able to do anything while we wait out the pandemic. But here it is, the right time to talk about time and the timely debates it's caused over different times in our history. The first big daylight savings experiment was during World War I. The Ogden Standard says this made for great gardens, but Congress said it was about time to kill time but failed time and time again. Now farmers hated it because milk cows hated it. They stayed up too late. But then some farmers thought that people ate more cheese if it was light outside, and they liked it. Dairy farmers who support Secretary Benson's farm surplus program find the extra hour of daylight boosts the consumption of dairy products. No one could agree. If it wasn't the cows, it was the school kids. Someone was always in the dark, that darn extra hour. Now the debate over an hour gained, an hour lost, oh no, that wasn't anything compared to what happened out here on the western edge of the city. See, the original time zone boundary put the part of Salt Lake that's east of the Jordan River in the mountain time zone and west of the river in Pacific time. So there was always a lost hour somewhere as this 1945 map shows, by now the airport was in the Pacific time zone. The city was still in mountain time. Yeah, so the airport was over here in Pacific time. The city was over there in mountain time. So if you had a noon flight over here, well, you'd probably leave about 1030 over there to get there in time, but you would discover you'd get there at 10 o'clock, which was entirely too early. So when would you leave for a noon flight there? You would leave about noon, and that just doesn't make any sense because then you would get there at 1130, which was before you left. No wonder you took the train. Although Utah just started ignoring that about a third of the state was in Pacific time, well, why should you want to get up earlier than other Utahns? Actually, Congress finally found time to change our time in 1969. But again, we ignored it for so long that nobody cared. So anyway, they moved the boundary to the Nevada border and let Wendover worry about it all. My name is Fred Sorensen, and I'd sure like to see this daylight savings bill go through. But oh my gosh, the daylight debate continued and made the ballot in the 1950s. Oh, at this point of our story, I want to go back to those first days of television here at Channel 4. And the reason is Channel 4 really wanted daylight savings time. Why? You see, with that extra hour of daylight, people wouldn't be going to those drive-in theaters so early. And that was our competition. Channel 4 made a series of ads. I like it because I, can I have more time to play with my dad. They got the mayor, Ab Jenkins. I am in favor of daylight saving in the interest of safety because you'll be driving home in daylight and you'll be driving to work in daylight. What? That didn't make a shred of sense. I am a social worker and I favor daylight saving time. To have that extra hour at the end of the day to work or play with our children would keep them home, would help us know them better and help them know us better and would mean a, a great deal for the greater happiness of all. Well, when it came down to it, really the important stuff, what does it do to fishing? Oh, and what hour does the dump close? And so enjoy that extra hour of sun as you sit at home. And all of this for an hour of time. 
And by the way, Washington and Oregon say now they'll join Utah in making daylight time permanent, but only if California agrees. So it's so complicated, all for an hour. And the fight continues. What a mess. Time, our most valuable commodity, though. <laughs> uh, Glenn Mills did have a story about how Representative Chris Stewart is trying to push forward this act that would, at the federal level, get some changes going. But it is complicated, like you said. It definitely is. <laughs>